Let's make this basic responsive wireframe. First, let's build the header. Using the text tool, create a placeholder brand name. I'll style it slightly larger. Then add three sample navigation links as text. Create a short but long frame to be the search bar. Add a stroke and rounded corners for styling. Select the navigation text and apply an auto layout frame with the Shift A shortcut. Align the elements and apply another auto layout frame. Align it to the vertical and horizontal center, then double click to distribute the items evenly in the parent frame. To create a properly sized page, press F to switch to the frame tool, then select the device under the desktop menu. Select the generated frame, then apply auto layout. Change the flow to vertical and the alignment to top center. Drag the header in. Change the width to fill the parent and add some padding. Remove the padding and gap from the page frame. Go to the frame tool again and click and drag to create a new frame inside the page. Change the width to fill and make the frame taller. This will be the hero image. I'll add a call to action button by adding the text shop now. Applying auto layout for some even padding and changing the fill to white. Select the line horizontal centers to keep it positioned. For the featured shop items, I've created a gray frame to act as an image. Duplicate it three times using the option drag shortcut on Mac then select them all and add an auto layout frame. I'll shrink the gap slightly. Add header text. Select it along with image frames and apply an auto layout. Drag it into the page underneath the hero section and change the height to hug contents. Add some horizontal padding. Select the image frame, enable wrapping, and set the width to fill the parent. Select the parent frame, make it fill as well, and align the items to the center. Lastly, to build the footer, create placeholder link text and group the items. Duplicate this group for more sample links. I'll add a sign up for reviews element that generally appears in page footers. This frame will act as an input box. Select all the frames and add an auto layout container. Align the items to the top then drop them into the page at the bottom. Change the width to fill and add padding for styling. Again, the frame should fill the parent and wrap to be responsive. I'll add a vertical gap between the rows for space when the page gets thin. Set the text to fill width and let's test it out. Using prototype settings, I also tested the page on different screen sizes. On the mobile screen, I removed the navigation links to make room for the search bar. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.